Hello guys, this is Dr. Dheeraj Masapu, I am an anesthesiologist and uh, today I would like to talk about uh, my observership uh, which I did for two weeks period in Japan in a place called Hokkaido University which is located in a place called Sapporo. So there are a few lessons uh, which I learned during trip which I am going to tell you. So before that I would like to tell you a small story which happened uh, you know in the metro station. Actually, I plan to go to a uh, nearby hot spring which is located around maybe 100 to 120 kilometers and it will take around 45 minutes because the trains there are like super fast. So I went to railway station to take a ticket and uh, they have given me a timing of 7.20 in the morning and I went to the particular platform and I was standing there and at 7.15 uh, not even one passenger is there was going to now uh, come along with me in the train 716 no passenger 717 uh, one or two guys started coming by 719 uh, nearly some 70 to 100 guys came uh, standing along with me in the queue just to get into the train and 720 sharp the train is there and I got into the train I went to the hot springs nearby so that's a different story so why I told this story is the punctuality of people and the system is so uh, damn accurate it is uh, to the minutes 720 train has come at 720 and the people also have come just one to two minutes prior to the train so that is the level of uh, accuracy I don't call it punctuality also I felt that it is like uh, accuracy that a uh, uh, you know uh, archer will have that kind of accuracy they had so now I would like to tell you uh, what happened in the hospital now so in the hospital in regularly in the classes uh, and everything during the two weeks period I was observing the same kind of pattern so whenever the class starts the class timing would be uh, given in the whatsapp before the 7 30 or 7 15 they would start the class so if it is 7 15 then by 7 uh, 10 i used to go sometimes none of them will be there in the class by 7 12 slowly one or two guys come by 7 13 7 14 everyone will be there by 7 15 sharp class will start so that is how the system is going on so now i'll tell you the actual reason why i am doing this video one in that two week period most of the uh, observership i did in anesthesia OTs, but two days i was posted in the intensive care so there uh, they don't have a dedicated intensive care uh, physician so anesthesiologist only will take care of the ICUs in the hospital where I went I don't know about Tokyo hospitals so what happened is uh, I was posted in the ICU and in the ICU I saw a big board in the center of the ICU where all the stickers were attached so then on the stickers it was there it was written that 9 10 neurosurgery 9 20 gastro surgery 9 30 transplant so this department names were written with a 10 minute interval i was think roughly understood that that is the timing given for that particular department to come what happened exactly is by sharp 9 10 the timing of neurosurgery is written on that and by 9 10 sharp neurosurgery department has come there and then the, they had one or two patients in the icu so the chief intensivist explained to them about the cases and uh, there the counseling would be done by the neurosurgeons so then the neurosurgery team has gone to the patient uh, uh, you know attendance and uh, they continued the counseling and the intensive care team again came back to that location to that board and by 920 the gastro surgery team has come so once the gastro surgery team sharp 920 gastro surgery team has come and once the gastro surgery team has come they explained about their patients to gastro surgery team like that it went on with all the departments not even one minute delay was there so such kind of discipline I have not noticed in uh, Indian hospitals. Okay, this video is not about comparing Japan and India. I will tell you why I am doing this video. So after coming back, I was actually thinking about, uh, you know, uh, what I actually learned in this observership. I learned so many things in technology and neurophysiology and uh, neurosurgeries and everything. But most important thing what I learned is the punctuality of everyone people system department you take it as a unit or individual punctuality is perfect we call i'm telling units accurate so basically if you ask me so what if uh, punctuality is very good if, punctu if we are punctual will we become successful i'll tell you 
if you bec- if you become punctual you are not going to become successful because the five minutes uh, and or 10 minutes they said or that said nothing is going to change drastically but what is going to change i am telling you now so if you are punctual then your brain sends a signal to your subconscious that you are disciplined the moment you are disciplined the possibility of you getting distracted in your life to other things like so many things are there to distract you in the modern life so those kind of distractions your brain will is like an exercise for the brain by by being punctual it gets more disciplined and the possibility of you getting distracted for so many things which are in the modern uh, world are very less so you start showing up every day consistently for your work without any distractions so that is termed as reliability or predictability so the moment you become reliable and uh, predictable over a period of years and the moment you are disciplined when you don't have distractions you keep doing your your system you become a uh, automatic system and you keep replicating the same thing every day and you keep doing the same uh, thing over years and maybe decades also that is when the results will come hope you understood what i am trying to tell so if you are a post graduate or if you are a post md person then if you are punctual and disciplined the results won't come on the same day like for example if you go to gym and expect the muscle to grow on the same day it doesn't happen like that in the same way if you put in punctuality if you are predictable and reliable and over years and years and years maybe decades it will take sometimes for you to become really successful and to have the uh, very big salary or major money what you are expecting so on the other side if you are super skilled i i work with super skilled people also if you are a super skilled person okay and uh, if you don't have punctuality and reliability the chances of you becoming successful is negligible according to me or near to zero because in the modern world if you give me an option of two guys one is super skilled one is very punctual but not very skilled i will obviously choose a person who is punctual i don't want a super skilled guy so rather than focusing only on the skills the important success formula for anesthesia students is to be punctual and reliable and predictable so that actually gets you a long way and you need to you will obviously if you are, if you start practicing the uh, exercise of punctuality your system will become automatic you will give repeating the same thing every day and years and decades and you will enter a compounding graph after 7 to 8 years and then the results will come hope you understood the, the lesson which i learned from japan and i hope you will also get motivated with this particular lesson and you will try to replicate the same lesson in your life and be punctual and predictable thank you guys for following the video till now and uh, as usual dr dheeraj masapu logging off roger that